Shall we go for a walk? Yeah? Shall we go for a walk? Why aren't you moving? Parker on. It's like a sign got a coat with a, with a hood. It's apart from my parkers, so yes, raining. I've forgotten what it's like. <laughs> it seems so long since we had any rain. Everywhere it needs it so bad though, doesn't it? Because the grass is all yellow. We've actually had more rain down here than most places, so hopefully other parts of the country are getting rain as well. Good morning, it's Tuesday, I've totally lost track of the date, 16th, something like that, of August 2022 and I'm in the shop, welcome back to my channel and my shop. Um, it's about quarter past nine and I'm nearly ready to open up, I made myself a lovely frothy coffee and um, I just want to ring my sister-in-law and have a chat before I open up the door. I don't officially open till 10 so I'm going to take a few minutes out and give her a ring and have a chat before I open the door because you can guarantee as soon as I get on the phone somebody will come in. Um, yeah, had a good weekend. Things have been going on. I've got uh, outfit of the day. I've got that dress on that I got in that two try on and I've also got my new Doc Martin uh, sandals on. Um, I might regret it later because new shoes and all that but uh, I'd tidied everything away when we did the viewing on Friday and uh, my son and his girlfriend have come to visit and they're in the room where all my shoes are so I couldn't go and get other pair of shoes so Doc Martens it is. That. She's engaged <laughs> so I'm gonna get everything out and I'll try ringing her in a few minutes and see if I can do it without getting interrupted by customers. Let's get on. Oh, bulb's gone. I'm gonna have to get a new bulb for that one. This one's really awkward to reach. <sighs> Damn it. Now to get this lot all outside. I've got most things out. I just decided not to put the suitcases out today because it's a bit wet and they sit on the floor. So um, I'll show you what I've done outside. just realised I've not put any signs out so I need to put some signs out as well. Right signs are out and then I just need to get the cases and put them back up there. Had a chat with my sister-in-law which was lovely apart from I've got a sweaty head now where my phone's been. It's really humid today. I need to just take a few minutes make my list centre myself a little bit because I feel a bit whoo, uh, rushing around. Um, I've just had an Etsy order for some earrings for £8 including postage. I think I made a bit of an error there, a bit of a boob. I think I maybe um, had them listed at £8 plus postage and then changed it to free postage without increasing the price. Duh. So I packed my um, that little Etsy order and realised that Eleanor, thank you very much, you'd ordered from my website as well. I've already posted that, otherwise I'd have put it in together. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will go out later on today. Um, now I've made my list, hurrah. And I need to go through stuff that I picked up from the car boot. We did go, we didn't do loads at the weekend. So um, Sunday we went to one car boot. We normally go to two, but we just went to the one, thought we'd got enough stuff and thought we'd come back and do some jobs at home before it got too hot, which I really appreciated doing actually. Um, and then yesterday we went to Aldi first thing in the morning and did an Aldi shop. I did do a little bit of a sweep of the table of the stuff that we bought before. Um, but I put it away, but I didn't want to do a full haul video of our Aldi shopping. It's not that exciting, is it? But I'll pick that in now. <laughs>
in the heat. It's been a real struggle, to be fair. I haven't done much at the weekend. Um, we've done the sort of things early in the morning and then I've just sat about not doing a lot. Jenny really struggled on Sunday. Um, she was pacing up and down the house and coming to me and then coming to Darren and then she's going back to me and then back to Darren pacing and panting and she wasn't happy. So I shoved her in the shower, I gave her a cold shower. She still wouldn't settle so um, we had the back door open to the little backyard and it was a tiny bit cooler there because it doesn't have the sun in it and there was a bit of a breeze but she wouldn't stay on her own so I had to sit on the concrete step so that she would stay there. <laughs> did that for an hour or so and um, she seemed to call off. There's a lady looking in the window and she was like looking at me like what are you doing talking to your phone you weirdo. I've been really busy which is great. Um, so I'm going to attempt to show you what I got from the car boot but I might well get interrupted so I thought I'd make that. First thing was for me I just loved this. I love the colour, but look, Moomins! Yes, that's for me, but I thought I'd show you. <laughs> I got this nice turquoise coloured bottle jug, bottle with spout. It's just a nice colour. I got this wooden box, the little drawers, and then the top one's got like a lift off bit so you could put your earrings or something in there. Another drawer there with, oh, get the idea. A nice Denby green jug. Oops. I got this throw. Thought might as well try throw, seeing as that other one went before I had even a chance to put a price on it. And um, oh, I love this. Oh, I can't get it out. I got a few little games, so I got this old dominoes. You can see how old they are by the state of them. I got a couple of these plate stands. They're a bit different, can you see? They're more for me to use than to sell, to be honest. Um, this, beautiful. Can you see up, up close? It's got like a flower design. Studio pottery. I don't think it's got a mark. It's just like that underneath. Very heavy, but that is gorgeous, isn't it? Hang on, and I'll get some more things. Okay. So I got this pair of serving spoons or salad servers, nice long ones. They're a bit sort of tarnished and marked, but I think those will clean up. They've got a really lovely heavy weight to them, so I'm really pleased with those. Then I got a f and I got another one of those, so I got two of those plate stands. Um, I got another box of dominoes, a little bit more modern. I think these are sort of fifties, sixties ones. Oh, oh, I see. That was a <laughs> I picked that one up, and there's nothing on it. I was thinking, oh, but it's just a blank. So like that. They've got greyhounds on the back. No, can you see? So a box of those. I got this. Lovely old cribbage is that box, um, and it opens up, and there is a pack of cards inside. So that's rather nice. And then this one, look at that. So with all different inlaid wood on this thing, and if you open this up underneath, there are pegs. Not lovely. I don't really understand what cribbage is, to be honest. Is that just like a type of bridge game? I'm not sure. That is the first lot. And you know I can't resist a jug. So I got this very light, modernish modern-ish thing, but it'll go. I also got this huge stoneware jug, which is really heavy. It's a lovely big size. And then I got this walking stick. Look at the handle. Isn't that lovely? It's like a bulldog. Let's see if I can get it better that way. You can see. Isn't that fabulous? So, there's more. I'm rushing through these a bit just because I know customers are going to come in. Um, a lovely Port Marion serving bowl or salad bowl or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's rather nice. I got a little paper mache box, thought the colours were lovely. 
I got uh, two cocktail shakers. It's the sort of thing I get asked for in the run up to Christmas. So I got two of those. I got a glove jug. I've not seen one out in the wild for ages. <laughs> so saw this one, couldn't resist in the traditional green. It's the Dartmouth pottery from Devon. I also got this. Um, it's just got made in England and then a number. So it could be Silvac, I guess. Um, that's rather nice. Mantle bars. And also got this basket, which is lovely, isn't it? There's a bit more. And then one of the stores, I did a bit of a deal. I got all of this in this box. Four of them. Um, so there's this elephant. Can't work out what this is. So maybe something's supposed to balance on the top of the elephant. If you know, answer on a postcard, please. I got a brass vase, just a plain. Could even be trench art, that. Don't know. Um, so, I know they do candlesticks like that. I'm wondering what that's just for. Anyway, it's a bird. I've got a little brass lobster. A little brass bell. Another bell. I think I'm going to get interrupted again. So there's another, another there's a pair of candlesticks in there. Um, this like a bull. Um, some smaller candlesticks like this. I don't know what this is quite interesting. It's obviously from India or somewhere. Can't work out what that is. Shoe. Shoe. And then there's a brass trivet at the bottom. I wondered, oh, and this bowl. I wondered if this bowl somehow balanced on the elephant. It's only half past 11 and I feel shattered. I haven't stopped and it's just been constant with people asking me questions. And um, I've just had a box brought in of stuff. One of the fellow shopkeepers asked me to have a look and see if it stopped that I want to buy so I've got that to do as well today <sighs> I think I showed you everything in that brass box and that was the last of the car boot stock today I feel like I've got too many tabs open and I've got so many customers coming in one after another that I can't put away any tabs and my brain's in meltdown <laughs> this flag is not for sale I have it covering up my electricity box behind but so many people have asked to buy it and this chap this morning was very insistent <laughs> so I've taken his name and address and said that if I change my mind I'll sell it to I him. can't work out whether I'm having hot flushes or if it's genuinely really humidly warm and I'm just getting myself hot and bothered but I've been doing it's like one o'clock now and I've constantly had people in um and just not you know you know when they buy a bit of furniture and you have to move stuff to get to things and people asking questions and getting things off high shelves and all that kind of stuff so um yeah i'm like whew, properly warm <sighs> i've got a break now there's nobody in so i'm gonna try and eat my sandwich I hopefully cool down a bit in this trade you deal with some characters you certainly do and i've got a particular character who comes in every now and again he buys from me and he also sells to me <clears throat> And he came in this morning and he went, oh, where's that vase? Have you sold it? And so I said, yeah. I think he's forgotten that he sold it to me in the first place. So he sold it to me. Then I've sold it. Would be selling it back to him with a profit. It doesn't make any sense. It's funny how it can be mad busy for ages, like hours in the morning. And then it just suddenly drops off. And it's gone really, really quiet now. Which is quite nice. It gives me time to get my brain in gear. Um, yeah, I'm trying to work out this elephant thing. So it's got a little stubby thing on the top there. Can you see this trunk goes around like that? And the only thing in the box, I mean, it doesn't necessarily in the box, is this bowl. And it has got an indentation there. So you can balance it, but it doesn't feel very 
stable, so I don't know. Hang on. Does that look right to you? I don't know. I can't see anything on Google like that anyway. And I've just had um, an eBay notification to say that our order's been posted. Ordered my husband a Mitchell match fishing reel. Doesn't mean anything to me, but it's a fishing reel he always wanted when he was a kid and couldn't afford. It's like a classic vintage one now. <laughs> so we've ordered one from eBay. He will be so excited when it finally arrives. I just had to get my daughter to bring me my flip flops. So we're just starting to rub on the backs of my heels. So um, yeah, I gave him a good go. It's about, I don't know, quarter past, half past two now. So yeah, for the first wearing. <laughs> I have to wear something else. We're going out tonight. We're gonna go and watch Exeter City play. Um, my eldest is home with his girlfriend. We're meeting my younger son and his girlfriend. And my daughter's back as well. So we're all going to watch Exeter City football tonight. So that should be good fun. So these were the other mystery objects. This one, it's got the Indian sort of temple look about it. Do you think you just put a tea light in here, a candle or something? It's very nice. Just can't quite work out what it's for. And then this, it's like a brass disc. Almost looks like a buckle, but any ideas? I'm gonna round up the vlog just because I need to edit it and stuff and I need to get off on time today. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thumbs up are always appreciated as are comments. Um, and also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. To all my new subscribers, thank you very much. To all my old subscribers that hang around, regardless of what content I put out, <laughs> really appreciate it. Okay, so look after yourselves, take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you.